Hello everyone, welcome back to TechLogix. If you've got a TP-Link Tapo Wi-Fi CCTV camera like the C200, C320WS, or C210, you know it's fantastic for monitoring on your phone. But what if you want to view that feed on your PC or laptop? Today, I'm showing you how to set it up using iSpy Agent DVR, a free, powerful software that transforms your computer into a full surveillance hub. We'll cover enabling RTSP slash ONVIF, finding your camera's IP, setting it as a static IP, and getting that live feed up and running. Stick around, it's easier than you think. Hit that like button if you're ready to dive in. Before we jump into the setup, let's make sure your Tapo camera is running the latest firmware to avoid any compatibility issues with iSpy Agent DVR. Open the Tapo app on your phone, select your camera from the home screen, and tap the gear icon to access settings. Look for Firmware Update or Device Info, it'll show your current firmware version and check for updates. If there's a new version available, download and install it, keeping your camera powered on and connected to Wi-Fi. This ensures your camera has the latest features and security patches for a seamless connection to your PC software. Once updated, you're ready for the next steps. Alright, let's get set up. Before we start, ensure you have these ready, your Tapo camera, already configured and working in the Tapo app, a PC or laptop connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your camera, and the iSpy Agent DVR software, which is free, open source, and compatible with Windows, Mac, or Linux. Head over to ispconnect.com to download it, and you'll be all set to go. Let's get that Tapo camera ready to stream. First, we need to enable its RTSP or ONVIF protocol so it can connect to your PC. Open the Tapo app on your phone, select your camera from the home screen, and tap the gear icon to access settings. Scroll down to Advanced Settings and tap Camera Account. If you haven't set one up, create a username and password here, this is critical, as iSpy won't connect without these credentials. Jot down that username and password, you'll need them later. Once you save the account, RTSP and ONVIF are automatically enabled, so your camera's all set to stream. Now, let's ensure your Tapo camera stays easy to find on your network. Setting a static IP address prevents the camera's IP from changing whenever your router reboots, which could disrupt your connection to iSpy Agent DVR. In the Tapo app, go to your camera settings and look for Network Settings or Wi-Fi Settings. You'll see an option to switch from DHCP, which assigns random IPs, to a static IP. Choose an IP within your router's range, like 192.168.1. 100 if your router uses 192.168.1.x, but confirm it's not already in use by another device. Check your router's admin page to see available IPs. Once you've picked a static IP, You'll need to enter your router's gateway and DNS settings to ensure everything works smoothly. The gateway is typically your router's IP, such as 192.168.1.1. For DNS, you can use the same address or a public one like 8.8.8.8, .8 Google's DNS. If you're unsure, verify these details in your router's admin panel. After entering the IP, gateway, and DNS in the Tapo app, Hit save to lock in the settings. Let's get iSpy Agent DVR installed to bring your Tapo camera feed to life on your PC's big screen. Start by heading to ispconnect.com to grab the Agent DVR software, it's completely free, open source, and works like a charm on Windows, Mac, or Linux. For this demo, we're rocking a Windows 11 PC, so click the Windows download link. The file will download as a zip, so once it's ready, right-click to extract it and locate the setup file. To keep things smooth, right-click the setup file, select Run as Administrator, and let it install all the necessary components. Make sure your PC is on the same Wi-Fi network as your Tapo camera, this is key for a seamless connection. Once you've extracted the zip, double-click the setup file to kick off the installation. The process is super quick and straightforward with the installer automatically pulling in any additional files it needs. Running as administrator ensures iSpy has the full permissions it requires, especially for accessing network features and your camera's stream. 
just follow the on-screen prompts, and in a minute or two, the software will be ready to go. If you're prompted to allow the app through your firewall during installation, click Allow to avoid any connectivity issues down the line. After installation, it's time to launch iSpy Agent DVR. Find the app on your desktop or in your Start menu and fire it up. A sleek, web-based dashboard will pop up in your default browser, usually at localhost 8090. This is your control hub for managing your Tapo camera and other surveillance features. If the dashboard doesn't load right away, try refreshing the page or double-checking that your browser isn't blocking the connection. You might also see a firewall prompt pop up, make sure to allow access to keep everything running smoothly. Now that iSpy is up, you're ready to start adding your Tapo camera, but let's make sure everything's set for success. If you run into any hiccups, like the zip file not extracting or the app failing to launch, check your internet connection or try re-downloading from ispyconnect.com. Also, ensure your PC's antivirus isn't blocking the setup file, sometimes, you might need to add an exception. A quick restart of your PC can also fix any stubborn issues. This step is all about getting the foundation right before we link up your camera. With iSpy Agent DVR installed and running, your PC is on its way to becoming a full-blown surveillance powerhouse. The dashboard is user-friendly, even for beginners, and it's packed with features like motion detection, recording, and live feed management. After the installation is complete, you may be prompted to choose your preferred language and read and agree to the terms of use for personal use of this awesome open source software. Select your language from the options provided, review the terms carefully, and accept them to access iSpy Agent DVR's full features for personal use. This step ensures you're all set to use the software legally and responsibly. Once you've agreed, the app is ready to launch, setting the stage for your surveillance setup. Now, let's fire up iSpy Agent DVR. Launch it from your desktop or start menu, and a sleek web-based dashboard will pop up in your browser, typically at localhost 8090. We're ready to add your Tapo camera to iSpy Agent DVR and get that live feed rolling. Before we jump into connecting the camera, you can optionally customize the live view home screen to suit your style, like setting up a grid layout or dividing the view based on how many cameras you plan to add. This keeps your monitoring setup clean and organized, especially if you're working with multiple feeds. Once you've configured your live view layout as shown in the demo, look for the plus icon on each window or head to the top right corner of the iSpy dashboard where you'll find the server menu. Click it to access all the setup and configuration features. From the server menu, select the new device option, then choose Network Camera Wizard to launch the Add New Camera Wizard. This wizard makes adding your camera a breeze. In the wizard, you'll see a Make field. Here, type in your camera's brand and model, like Tapo C320WS. A search list will pop up, select your exact camera model from the options. If your specific model isn't listed, choose the closest match or a generic Tapo option. Click Next to proceed to the Credentials section. Now, in the Username and Password fields, enter the credentials you created earlier in the Tapo app under Camera Brookhaven National Laboratory Camera Account. These are the same ones that enabled RTSP slash ONVIF for your camera. Double check that you input them correctly, as they're crucial for iSpy to connect securely. Hit the Next button to move forward. The next step brings up a network list showing devices on the same Wi-Fi network as your PC. If your Tapo camera pops up in this list, great, just select it. But if it's not showing, no worries, you can manually enter the camera's static IP address we set up earlier in the Tapo app, like 192.168.1.100, into the network address field. Double check that the IP matches exactly, then hit the Next button to move forward. After entering your camera's static IP in the network camera wizard, the next step is where the magic happens. The wizard will scan your camera's IP address, checking for open ports and listing available streaming protocols. Once the scan finishes, you'll see a list of URLs for your camera's stream. Look for the one ending in slash stream 1, this is the high-quality video stream for your Tapo camera. Click the Use button next to that URL to select it, then hit OK 
to add the stream to iSpy's camera's page. This locks in your camera setup. Now, with the camera added, your Tapo's live feed should start streaming automatically on the Live Video tab in iSpy's dashboard. If it doesn't appear right away, try closing and reopening Agent DVR, sometimes it needs a quick refresh to load the feed on the home screen. Make sure your PC and camera are still on the same Wi-Fi network, and that the username, password, and static IP are correct. If the feed still doesn't show, double-check the selected URL or restart the software. By default, your Tapo camera and iSpy setup work only on your local Wi-Fi network, meaning you can view the live feed and use features like motion detection when your PC and camera are connected to the same network. Want to check your camera remotely, like when you're away from home? You'll need to set up port forwarding on your router for port 554, used for RTSP streaming, and possibly other ports, depending on your setup. Log into your router's admin panel, typically at 192.168.1.1, and configure it to allow external access to your camera's static IP. Head to TP-Link support page for a step-by-step -step guide on port forwarding for your router. Quick heads up, port forwarding opens your network to the internet, so be careful. Use a strong password for your camera and consider adding a VPN for extra security to keep your feed safe. If you're sticking to local access for now, you're still set for awesome home monitoring. In our next videos, we'll dive into mastering iSpy Agent DVR, showing you how to tweak settings like motion detection, alerts, and recording options to make your setup even smarter. Stay tuned for those tips to level up your surveillance game. If this guide helped you get your Tapo camera streaming, show us some love. Hit that like button, share this video with your tech crew, or subscribe to TechLogix for more tutorials. Your support keeps us pumped to create more content like this. Check out the rest of this video series for deeper dives into iSpy's features and how to make the most of your Tapo camera setup. Thanks for being part of our community. Keep rocking it, TechLogix fam.